me and Aunt Jemima walk into a bar, right? And she had bit on a mason jar for her nose to fall in. But her teeth, fingers, and ears all leapt in the glass, migrating from their rancid host. By the time she sat at the bar, old girl barely had a face. And my dumb ass starts giggling, right? And I go, oh no! I know you. You bottled Chuck and Jive. You Uncle Tom with a side of pancakes. You made and gone with the wind. You Bojangles for breakfast. You Amos and Andy like you. Self-hate syrup. You slave gone corporate. You black power fist with a hole in it. You minstrelsy's mistress. You black face on black face on butter. You Uncle Ben shawty on the low. You everybody mammy. You. Her skin has melded to the bar by now, and I can see through Auntie J. The muscle she got left shivers on her bones like a salt fish trying to understand air. She sits now the one way I never pictured her, thin and white. Without eyes, she looks at me hard, applies a set of lips to her skull, spits. Quit talking like you know black in the box it came in. Woo. You don't know what it is to smile for all them folks, to rot in everybody home except yours, to watch their children, to hear them call you mama, to be hated by your own for trying to find a way out, to feed your enemy for a century and a quarter, to have them profit you while you die slow. You don't know me. I try to console the has-been of blackness, tell her I didn't mean it, that I'm just a brown girl half-breed mutt that don't know her place, don't know how to hold her tongue or respect the dead. I look up at her, ready to pry out some sweet forgiving, but my hand is nailed to the bar, nailed to the chair, my whole body pierced in rust. I cry, yo Jemima, what is this? Her teeth form a smile at the bottom of her mason jar. Rot with me. I'm your kin. You come from me. And when they bury you, you'll have my face. <laughs>